Service Meteorologist Pete Mangione with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Good morning and happy Friday. Not a bad way to end the work week here. There will be a slight chance of a strong thunderstorm. In fact, I did want to show you this map. This is actually from the Storms Prediction Center, and you'll notice the yellow and different shades of green. The yellow shade, this is the highest chance of severe weather today and tonight. In this zone here in western Connecticut, western Massachusetts, actually a slight chance of a tornado. Now again, the chance is very small, and that stays to our west. But in this darker green shaded area right here, we could have a severe thunderstorm with damaging wind gusts and that would likely happen late today through tonight. Again, the chances of any storm like that happening are fairly low for our viewing area. I think a lot of action, at least during the daytime, stays to our north and west. And then tonight through tomorrow morning, we will have to be on the lookout for a few more stronger thunderstorms to be moving on through. Unfortunately, it's another unsettled weekend. We'll talk about that weekend forecast in just a few minutes. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar showing a line of showers and a few thunderstorms here well out to our west in central Pennsylvania, upstate New York. So this takes a while to work through. We were mentioning that we always are on the lookout for some fog when we have this much humidity around and we are maybe seeing some of it here from North Kingstown. Tough to tell when we don't have the sunlight just yet, but we'll keep watching that one for you. Two, three o'clock this afternoon. Here's the point I wanted to emphasize. Notice how the vast majority of the area actually not seeing any showers or thunderstorms, but there could be a slight chance, especially north and west of 295 in places like Burrville. This evening through the overnight hours, most of the time it's not raining, but the chance of a quick shower or thunderstorm will be there. And then I think we're going to have to watch the situation carefully pre-dawn tomorrow for the chance of a little bit more severe weather, showers and thunderstorms. And then it's not raining all of Saturday. We'll get some breaks, but a few more showers popping up late morning and the chance of some showers and thunderstorms on Saturday afternoon. On Sunday, the humidity drops a lot. It's much cooler. Cooler. And while we will have the chance for showers, there'll be plain old regular showers, not thunderstorms. Right now, temperature is 72 in Providence, 72 Newport, 71 in Westerly. Still looking at some mid to upper 60s in Taunton through New Bedford. You know, when we've had this much humidity around, we'll take it. We'll take dew points and temperatures in the mid 60s, which we do have for inland spots right now. But notice it's much more humid across the south coast from Westerly to Newport with dew points in the low 70s. And pretty much all of us get those dew points in the mid 70s by the afternoon. So overall, it's another impressively humid day. Winds fairly calm in Providence out of the north. You can see the wider picture of the country showing all the action right now, or most of the action sliding from the Great Lakes down to the southeast, and we get a chunk of this this weekend as that system kind of stalls across the area. So today's high temperatures, mid to upper 80s. It's going to be a humid day, so when you're underneath a few of these gaps of sunshine during the afternoon, it will feel quite warm. Inland high temperatures, mid to upper 80s. You can see Taunton around 89, could even be some 90s, while the south coast, even our beaches, should be able to warm to the low 80s and then drop a little bit during the afternoon as those breezes kick in a little bit from the south. So that means it's a decent beach day, 83, perhaps a little bit of fog in the morning. But I do think the beaches, the south coast, avoid the showers for most, if not all of the day. I think most of the action does stay to the north of our south coast beaches. Now, in our seven-day future cast, you could see the showers and thunderstorms potentially on Saturday. Check out the temperature drop on Sunday, down to 73, much less humidity. Unfortunately, I did have to put a few showers in the forecast, not expecting a washout. We could get a lot of these over with during the morning, and many of them may just stay along the south coast and never make it inland. But certainly, it's high enough now where we at least have to introduce them to the forecast. How about Monday? 77, mostly sunny, fairly comfortable. You can always get an updated future cast over on our website and also download the Pinpoint Weather app. That is a great tool to have with you for today and tomorrow with some of those pop up showers. Now let's get you over to Melissa, who has a look at traffic. Hey, Melissa. Good morning, Pete. Heading out the door this morning, you are dealing